Is that? It's fine. It's all right. Uh, Rob, is that is that thing on? We need to get this for the department. Hello. Is it good? Okay. Yes, yeah. All right. Uh, let's get going then. Okay. Well, uh, hi gang. Um, this is the first in our series of lectures on great British directors. Uh, as you can see from the board, we've got Nicholas Fryers coming in, a personal hero of mine, and obviously one of the best loved names in British cinema. Should be very exciting. Uh, his resume speaks for itself, it really does. And his career is just on the rise, and has been since 1964, and he can really teach us a lot. So, without further ado, I give you Mr. Nicholas Fryers. I'm fine. Okay. Totally fine. It, it's just the pills. Right, so, um, directing. Well, what do you want to know? I mean, um, you, you look young and hairless. I mean, yes, so, you want to get into film, do you? Or do you want film to get into you? Um, I, I'd like to be a director. Of course you would. Uh, you'll make a great, uh, Best boy or a firm grip. <laughs> Have you seen the inside of a trailer at all? So, oh, young man. Oh, I just saw you one of those Filipino traps with the long hair. One of my personal favourites. So, what do you want to be when you leave this place? Um, I'd like to go into producing. I'd like to be a producer. So. Ah, right, yeah. Don't worry, a lot of people didn't have friends as children either. So you! Arsy farsy parents couldn't give more of a crap up at the back. Um, I want to be creating a kind of meta art, kind of resting on a high plateau of anything. No, two on the back. Well, I thought I want to go into um, cinematography because of the framing and the way it comments on the social construct of society. Are you French? God, I'm talking about bollocks. Anyway, oh, uh, would anybody like to ask Mr. Fryer a question at all? No? It's a very good opportunity until we get Ridley Scott in next week. Prick. Anybody? There's a fountain of knowledge right in front of you. <coughs> no? Okay, well, um, Mr. Fryers, tell us all how you got into the film industry. I got into a lot of things. Well, it all started when, um... Are you okay, Mr. Fryers? Uh, it's fine, yeah. So it all happened in 1964 when, uh, I went on the set of the one before the first one, and uh, someone gave me a megaphone and went, fire away. Fascinating. So, that's, that's the big secret, just the right place at the right time. Well, what you, oh god. Pretty much what you've got to do is um, just point the camera at stuff and... Yes, you just generally point the camera at things, I think. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll come out as you wish. In your first film, Grime Kitchen Sinks, a lot of people say that your uh, use of black and white was a homage to your love of the French New Wave. Was that the case? No, it's because the cameraman, who's also French, was bollocks at filming in colour. So he was really, really awful. Um, so yeah, that's why we did it. In no. <clears throat> well, uh, how about for your next feature, Back Alley Slag 7, you switched to a handheld camera and um, was, was that a conscious decision to try and get more of a, a, a grimy working class feel? No, um, it was because the arse buggering tripod broke, um, I was using it for um, one of my own projects and um, we broke it. People often ask me if as a director, you need to do a lot of planning. Often, well, some people would say yes. I wouldn't. I, um, I mean, personally, I don't plan a thing apart from how to get home the morning after. <laughs> but so, um, basically, we discovered that you just gotta point the camera at the thing. 
Ah, no, no. Yeah. Have you got any uh, advice for our incoming talent? Find yourself good contacts, that's what I'm going to say. I'm possibly one. Why don't you uh, tell us a bit about your experience filming in Africa, filming the sequel to Sheen the Musical? What? Africa. I, I bet it was very exciting filming in Africa. Africa? Yeah. When am I filming in Africa? Yes, yeah. with uh, Michael Sheen, I believe. Sheen? Yeah, Michael Sheen. Who? I know, Hollywood's dearest son. You were there last week <clears throat> for about nine months, I believe, the press release said. So anyway, um, young boy! I see it's got director written on your little jersey there. Why do you want to become a director? Uh, What's in it for me? Um, <clears throat> what is it you want to get into? Um, I'm, I'm quite interested in telling stories. Really? What kind of stories? Uh, visual stories with, with a camera. Visual stories? Yeah. You haven't got any food, have you? Uh, we've got some twiglets for afterwards. Uh. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh. I just have a bit of a lie down, I think. So, is there anything else? Uh, who are your major influences? Uh, well, I, I never really um, studied films as a child. So, myself, I suppose, uh... Mm. Mm. Mr. Fryers. Mm. Yes! Oh. No, I was, I was just reminiscing about this challenge. Kevin Spacey and I had to get, sorry. So anyway, what next for Nicholas Fryers? Who? Nicholas Fryers? Oh, me! Right, yeah, no, um, I've got a period drama, which is said to be outstanding, by the way. Uh, what was it like working with Kevin Spacey? I, I hear you two are, are very good friends. Well, I think, uh, the less said about that and the more remembered, the better. Um, if any of you are interested in getting a big part, Space is probably the man to talk to. Not Michael Sheen, he's, he's not very good at giving people parts. You okay, Mr. Fryers? Uh, oh, who's it for you? Scrambled eggs and carver for breakfast don't mix. Moving on! Who likes to take my check? Oh no, you can get the whole check. Well, it's been lovely talking to you all, and uh, remember, stay in school, or um, you can stay wherever you want. <laughs> Nicholas Fryers, everybody. Uh, Rob, just, just turn it off, please.